Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tech Sakra channel. Now in this video, I am going to talk about the compute service of OCI and how to create a compute instances. So guys, before I start, I'll ask everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. Now let's get us understand. Let's get started and understand the compute service of OCI. What is compute service? OCI compute service lets you provision and manage compute host known as instances. Like if you have a requirement to deploy your application, you can create a compute service and deploy there. Okay. You can create your instances as needed to meet the compute and application requirement. For example, you have an you have developed one application and you want to host that. Where you will host, you will host on some machines. You can create those machine on an OCI and it is called a compute service. You can manage the compute lifecycle on your own using the browser-based console, such as you can do the restart of the compute, start, stop, terminate, attach and detach, detach volumes. Okay. Any changes when you terminate, okay, any changes made to the instances local drives are lost. It's like when you terminated it, like you have a C drive wherein you have installed some softwares. So when you kill that C drive, everything will, will be lost. Okay. But any same changes to volume attached to the instances are retained. Like you have an external hard drive, whatever changes you do in that external hard drive, that will be retained. Similarly, if you have some volumes attached to that compute service and if you terminate your instance, the volumes changes will be retained. What are the compute services? Okay, type of compute services. Oracle Cloud offers both bare metal and virtual machine instances. What is bare metal? What is virtual? Bare metal, very important. A compute instance gives you dedicated physical server access for highest performance and strong isolation. So this is when you create a compute service, you will have two choice. One is bare metal. Bare metal gives you a dedicated physical server. Like if you don't want to share the physical server, then you choose the bare metal. Another is called virtual machine. A virtual machine is an independent computing environment that runs on top of physical bare metal hardware, but it's shared. Okay among different tenants. The virtualization makes it's possible to run multiple VMs that are isolated from each other. VMs are idle for running applications that don't require the performance and resources of an entire physical machine like CPU, memory, network bandwidth. Okay, like when you create compute service, you will see two options. One is called virtual machine and second is called bare metal. Compute shape, when you create a uh, when you create a, a compute instance, you need to select a shape. What is shape? A shape is a template that determine the number of OCPU, amount of memory and other resources that you want to allocate to your instance, like how many CPUs you need, what is the need, what is the memory you will require. Okay, so uh, we have uh, AMD based instances, Intel, Ampere. So you can use any one of the shape series to create your compute instance. So let's move ahead and then create a compute service in the cloud itself. So uh, let me, okay. So this is the Oracle cloud and you see user is compute. So let's try to create, okay, compute instance. So to create a compute instance, you need to go to the compute and click on instances. Okay, so here you see this is my compartment demo compartment and you click on a create instance, you can give a name that say demo instance, the name of the instance, the compartment in which you want to create the placement like availability domain, it gives it will not give you the list of 81 because in the Hyderabad we have only single AD, but if you choose any other reason like US, you will get an option to choose the AD 1, AD 2, AD 3, right. And then image and shape, like what image you want to use Linux or other stuff. If you want to add it, you can add it like chain image. Okay. 
we have platform images or like other images, partner images, custom images. You can have your own image as well. Community boot volume image or scene, right? You see, we can choose the different different images. Even we have windows as well. I will use the same one. Will not change and shape. Okay, you can change the shape like AMD. Okay, so here you see virtual machine and bare metal. You can choose virtual machine or the bare metal one. Okay. Under virtual machine, you can use the VM standard E21 micro. It's free. You can choose the Intel based as well. I don't have any one because maybe the limit has been exhausted. You can use the AMD one. What happened? Okay. Okay, I don't have, but that's fine. Let me use the, <coughs> the default one, VM standard E21, which will have one core OCPU, one GB memory, and this will be the GPS network bandwidth. Show advanced option, that's fine. Okay, let it as it is. And you see networking. Okay, here you need to assign the VCN and then subnet in which you want to launch your compute instance. You see by default, it will take the one which you have created default demo VCN and it, will, it has taken the public subnet. Okay. Assign a public IP address. If you want to add it, you can add it this. Like if you want to select another virtual cloud network, you can choose. If you want to choose different public subnet, you want to give, you want to create this instance in the private, you can do that as well. And make sure you will choose assign a public IP address. Okay. That's fine. Then here you need to add the SSH keys, which we have generated earlier, like generate a key pair for me, upload a key. Okay, you can paste or no SSH key. So you can generate a key pair from here also, but I will use this paste public key option and I will paste my public key, which we have copied earlier. And then we'll paste it here. Okay, and then a boot volume, that's fine. And click on create. Now your instance will be created, shown and will be visible and the public IP will be assigned. Now, let me open a cloud shell. Here you see you are not authorized to access the cloud shell. The tenancy admin must add a policy to grant. So the Angu don't have access to access this cloud shell. So if you see the policy which you need to give. So this is the policy which you need to assign like allow group group name to use cloud shell in tenancy. So this is the thing which we need to give. That is a tenancy level. So I will copy this. I will go here, okay, this I have logged in from the super user tax server. I will again go to this guy, identity and security, go to the policies. Uh, we have created the policy in the demo compartment. Okay, I click on this edit policy, add another statement and I will say this, I will use this and this time I will use this. Okay, and then save changes. Uh, what is this compartment does not exist or is not part? Maybe something wrong. Allow group, demo group to use cloud shell in tenancy. No, I'm not compartment. What happened? <clears throat> That's fine. No, not this one. Let me just copy it again from there itself. Okay, not able to create maybe some permission issues, but that's fine. Okay, let me try to see if my compute instance is created. I am checking it from this user only okay the the super user so super user has access of everything and you see the instance is running if you click on a demo instance you see the public ip has been assigned 152.70.73.152 okay let's try to log in into this machine so you can use putty and you can use another another client to access that machine so i will use the cloud shell okay so what I will do, let me see PWD. I'm in this SSH folder wherein my private keys also there. Okay, like the SSH keys. So what I will do, I will use the command like uh, 
SSH hyphen I, and then we'll give the private key name like SSH. Okay. And then I will use a default name OPC. OPC is the username which will be created when you create a compute instance. Okay. OPC UC username and then public IP address copy and then uh, at the rate and then paste your public IP and then enter. You see, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Let's say yes and enter the passphrase. Let me enter the private, enter the password of my private key. Okay, and you see, I have connected to this demo instance. You see the demo instance. You can see OPC demo instance, PWD, LS, LTR, you see, right? So this is how you create the computer instance. Let's try to install something in the, uh, in the, in the virtual machine. Let's try to install the Apache server. So I will use sudo command sudo yum install httpt and hyphen y so it will install the apache let this to be installed it will not take more time Okay, let this to be installed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's stalling. Let this to be installed. It's running the script let. Okay. Okay. Complete. Now that's fine. It has been installed. Now let me start this server sudo uh, Apache CTL and then start. Sorry. Oh my bad. JCTL and then to start. Right, service has been started. Let me run a quick check here. Let's say sudo Apache CTL config test. Okay, syntax is okay. That's fine. Let me create firewall rules to allow X to the ports on which the HTTP server listen so i have some command sudo space firewall hyphen cmd space minus minus permanent space minus minus zone equals to public space minus minus add minus service equals to http okay and uh, let me reload this okay firewall hyphen cmd Right, success. Now let's try to access this. Now copy this. Okay, it's not accessible. Why? It is because of the port issue. I need to open the port 80. So what I'm going to do, I'm going here. Let me go to the networking, go to this private network, go here and go to my security list. So this is my default security list for my public and then here I need to add an ingress rule okay so I will allow traffic from 0, 0, 0, 0 means our public range and the port is on 80 and then let's say add ingress rule okay that's fine let's try to <clears throat> and you see Apache 2 test page now means my server has been installed successfully. If you want to change the page, you can do this. Let me just change the page here. Okay. Let me go to this CD slash web slash. Okay. I have to go with sudo slash CD slash web slash www 
slash HTML. Okay. And you see, I have a cat index file. Index. HTML CD where www. Okay, let me see. Okay, I don't have so it will open a default page. Let me just open create a index.html. Okay, my okay, let me say insert insert my HTTP server is up and running. That's fine. Now let's try to refresh this page. Okay, maybe I need to restart the server, then only it will work. But that's fine. Oh, maybe I have done something wrong. Index.html. Let me just do one thing. Let me just restart. Okay. Let me see that work or not. Okay. No. Okay, then let me see. No, it's not working, but it's fine. Okay. But you see the default page. So this is how you can create compute instance and you open the port and you can install any service on that compute instance. Like I did the Apache server. Guys, that's all about this. If you like this video, please like, comment and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest. You can also see my blog, https://taxsubber.com. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye bye.